In this clip, I will elaborate a little bit more on calculating derivatives of integral expressions with variable bounds. I will treat the most general case where we have a, capital, a function capital G of x, which is defined by a lower bound variable bound function, g1 of x, to the g2 of x, we take an integral with respect to f. And f is supposed to be a continuous function on some interval a, b. And uh, we assume that, moreover, that g1 and g2 are differentiable functions with, which take values in a, b. And we want to calculate, that's our task, calculate g prime of x for any x such that g1, x, and g2, x are in a, b. Well, the solution is as follows. We may define, since f is a continuous function by virtue of the main theorem of calculus part 1, we may define a primitive like so. So the integral from a to x, f, t, d, t, is a primitive of the function f. So this is a differentiable function with derivative f. Now, realize that the g of x, by virtue of the part 2 of the main theorem of calculus, that g of x can be evaluated by taking the difference in a primitive of the upper bound minus the primitive evaluated in a lower bound. So, f g2 of x minus f g1 of x. Yeah, so, this is the second part, application of the second part of the main theorem of calculus. Now, on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, we have differentiable functions and combination of differentiable functions. On the left-hand side, we get g prime of x. And on the right-hand side, we may invoke the, the chain rule for differentiations and, and obtain f prime g2 of x, g2 prime of x, minus the derivative of the outside function, capital F, substituted in g1 of x times the derivative of g1 of x. But realize that f prime equals f, so capital F prime equals f, so that we may plug in f here. So we get f of g2x, the known function, g2 prime of x minus the function evaluated g1x times the g1 prime of x. So although we are maybe not uh, uh, capable of finding a primitive of f, we still know that such a thing must exist, and we exploit this fact to find a derivative of capital G, which can be expressed solely in values of f alone, and we don't need uh, its primitive for that.